Hey Algebra 2, today we're going to talk about angles of rotation. Angles of rotation. So, we're going to be dealing with an XY coordinate plane. Okay, there's our X axis, there goes our Y axis. Um, the thing you need to know when we're talking about angles of rotation is first of all, when you start an angle, by the way, we're going to be using this, it's called theta. Okay, this just means angle measure. Okay, angle measure. Okay. Um, when we apply an angle on an xy coordinate, we always start on the positive um, x axis. Okay, the positive side of the x axis, and we rotate counterclockwise. Okay. If we're given a positive angle, we rotate counterclockwise. So we're going to be rotating this, um, these angles. So, um, the thing to know is that if I were to go all the way around, that would be 360 degrees. Um, a full circle is 360 degrees. So if you view it that way, um, actually I'll just do it here, um, fourth of the way, so halfway across, so if the entire way is 360, halfway across is going to be 180 degrees, because it's half, again, of all the way across, which makes sense, right? Um, therefore, if we only went a quarter of the way, half of 180, this would be 90 degrees. Okay, actually let me put, starting point is 0 degrees, and then a full circle would be 360. So we have 0, 90, 180, if you add 90 to that, we end up with 270 degrees. Okay, and then again, full circles, 360 degrees. All right. Well, <clears throat> when we rotate this, there's a couple. There's a little terminology you need to know. Um, if I were to say I want you to rotate something, let's say 45 degrees. I say theta is equal to 45 degrees. Um, starting at any point, this would rotate. Okay. Let's start there. We're going to rotate. 45 is halfway between zero and 90. So it would look like this. View it kind of like a windshield wiper. Okay, the length is still going to stay the same from here if you rotate it up. This here is called the terminal side. Okay, it's called the terminal side. This where you begin is called the initial side. Oops, I can't write the initial side. All right which makes this right here your terminal angle, okay? So that's really the three things you need to know. We have our terminal side, that's the thing that's gonna be rotated all the way around. This is your initial side, it's where you start. Remember, you always start on the positive x-axis, and if it's a positive angle, you go counter counterclockwise. If it's at negative 45, you go clockwise. And this would be our terminal angle. All right. Um, don't forget quadrants. This is quadrant one, two, three, and four. Okay, one, two, three, four. We do counterclockwise. All right. So let's do some problems here. So I want you to draw the angle. Draw the angle of rotation. Okay in standard position that corresponds to each angle measure okay that corresponds to each angle measure all right so the first one that we are, we're going to do is negative 270 degrees. So, our first problem, negative 270 degrees. So again, we have our x, y axis. Here is standard position starting here, okay? Starting anywhere here on the x axis. I try not to do it too close there so we can have some room. So I try to put it somewhere out here. Now, since it says negative, remember positive goes counterclockwise, so negative is going to go clockwise. So we're going to go over, this is, view it like this, 90 
all the way here is 180 plus 90 more would be 270. So our angle looks like that. Okay, this is our angle of rotation. Put a little arrow there. All right. So you rotate clockwise. So if it's negative, you go clockwise. How about negative 360 degrees? Negative 360 degrees. Um, again, that shouldn't be too difficult. That's just a full circle. And we went, um, we put the arrow to show which way we went. So we went uh, clockwise because it's a negative. Now let's do one more. Negative 450 degrees. Negative 450 degrees. Now that's larger than a one full circle. So if we were to go around, so that's 90, 180, 270, 360, but we need 90 more actually to get to 450. So that is how you would draw uh, that angle of rotation. It's one full circle, 360, but then we'd still need 90 more to get to negative 450 degrees. Okay? That's how we draw that. All right. Let's i uh, give you another one. So you're going to draw another angle of rotation, standard position. Um, you're also going to, I also want you to draw the angle of rotation and identify, okay, and identify the quadrant of the terminal side, okay, of the terminal side. So here we go. The first one, let's say that theta is equal to 140 degrees, okay, 140 degrees. So the good thing to do is figure out what quadrant does that lie in? Again, this is zero, this is 90, this is 180 okay, degrees, and this is 270 degrees. Okay, let me just make that a little bigger there. 90 degrees, and this is also 360 if you make a full circle. So it's a positive one, so we're going to work our way this way. Um, if you were to do a little dotted rotation here, 140 is going to be between 90 and 80. So it's 50 more than uh, 50 more than 90, but 40 less than 180. So it's somewhere around the middle. Okay. So about right there, we have our terminal side. So again, it's like the windshield wiper that we rotated um, across. So this would be our terminal side. That's what we did. We drew the angle, and this is quadrant two. All right. So again, it's not not too bad, not too hard. Um, let's do one more. So theta equals, so let me move that up a little bit. Theta is equal to negative 160 degrees. So here goes our terminal side, or sorry, our initial side. So since it's negative, we're going to go clockwise. So this is, we went 90, and 180 would get us all the way across, but it says negative 160. So it's most of the way, but not quite quite all the way. Let's say about right there. And this would be our terminal side. And we say this is quadrant three. Okay. Again, these are not too bad. Just remember if it's a positive angle, counterclockwise, negative angle, clockwise. All right. And <clears throat> see, what else do you need to know? There's a thing called co-terminal angles. Okay, co-terminal angles. This is what you need to know about a co-terminal angle, okay? If I give you x, y axis, and I say I want to go over, let's say, 310 degrees. So if I did 310 degrees, that would be 90, 180, 270, and then 40 more. This angle here, so if I, there goes my... Uh, terminal side. So this all the way around is 310. Every angle has a coterminal angle. So the coterminal angle is this angle right here. 
So if this is 310, 50 more will get us um, all the way around. So that is what coterminal means, okay? So this is negative 50. Oops. So negative 50. Again, what it's saying is if I went 310 this way or if I went back 50, I'd end up at the same uh, coterminal, so with the same coterminal side, okay? Again, I went over 310 or I could go back 350 and we'll get the same exact spot. All right, that's what coterminal angles are. Um, a good way to think about it is just um, however far you went around, just subtract that from 360, and, um, and there you go. Okay, and there you have it. That's coterminal angles. Um, let's see, that should be it. So if you have any other questions, please let me know in class, and I will most definitely try to help you out. All right, have a good one. Bye.